Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be showing how to create a tree outside of Unity and make it work with the wind system or with the wind zone. So let's just get started. This is the tree that I made in Blender. Now to make a tree in Blender, it's pretty quick and easy. You just click Shift A, go to Curve and hit Sapling Tree Gen and it will create the tree for you. And in order for this to work, you would have to go to, to preferences. And under here, you would click on add curve sapling tree gen, make sure it's click and it should give you that option right away. So you just hit shift a curve sapling trees, and then it will create this tree. It usually is under geometry. You could change all the settings depending on how your tree, how you want your tree to be. After that, you could change the branch radius, all that stuff, and also the leaves. You could increase or decrease the leaves depending on how you want it. There's all the leaves, and then you could decrease it, increase it. You could also, you know, just play around with all that. Now I do have a tree right underneath it, so I'm just gonna delete this one, and I'm gonna erase the camera and the light. So after that, all you gotta do is export it. So just go to export. I exported it as a FBX, so you just click FBX, and then you could save it into your Unity project, or you could save it into like, let's say your downloads folder and just drag it in. So now with this all set up, all you do is drag in your tree, and I have added a wind zone. If I click play, it will not work with the tree. Sorry if you guys could hear the neighbor's dogs. In order for this to work, we could go to terrain, we could add our tree. First, we would have to make it into a prefab because this is just a mesh. So let's drag this in real quick to our assets folder. I'm gonna create it as an original prefab. So here's our prefab, here's our tree. The tree has the little arrow, the prefab just comes in like this. Now if I go to my terrain and I go edit and I add tree, I'll drag in the tree and the bend factor is what makes it be able to get affected by the wind. So I'm just gonna put 0.5 as the bend factor and I'm gonna add it and now I could place trees all over my terrain so there's my terrain uh, let's actually decrease the tree density so there's two let's delete this so there's two of them right there if I hit play so now as you can see we do get like a little warning that says the tree must use nature soft occlusion shader this is another thing that will make the wind work the wind zone so let's create that real quick so I'm just gonna drag in this tree and then I'm gonna create two different materials so the first material will be something like tree bark and then we'll change it to nature then to tree soft occlusion bark and then we'll drag it into the bark and then we could adjust the color do something more like a tree so some kind of brownish like that and then you could also add a texture so like a branch texture so it could actually look like a branch and not just this color it will actually have the little details of the branch and then we're going to duplicate this real quick and we're going to rename it to tree leaves for the tree leaves we have to go back to the shader section go to nature and go to tree soft occlusion leaves and we'll drag that onto the leaves and we'll change the color of the leaves something like that now we will go to our tree we'll go to overrides actually we don't need to do that we'll just delete this and over here on our tree so let's do this again the bark on the bark and then the tree leaves on the tree leaves and then let's actually remake a prefab so let's delete this our trees will get deleted so let's delete it and add it again original prefab now on our terrain we do have to edit again and you if you already did this step just go to edit trees and include your prefab make sure the bend factor is at 0.5 and apply now we could delete our tree and hit play and it should work as you can see the trees are all, are moving because of the wind zone if we increase the wind zone it starts moving a little more same with the turbulence all that so it does work the only problem with this is that it doesn't have the leaves so i was trying to figure out how we could add the leaves and i was able to figure it out but the only problem is we wouldn't be able to it wouldn't be able to get affected by the wind zone so if you wanted to add the leaves all you would have to do is create an lod group so let's go over here and on the tree we'll create the LOD group and then on these LODs right here we're gonna extend them and on the renderers we're gonna add two of them one is gonna be for the tree bark and one for the leaves we'll add the tree and there's our tree bark again if we add the leaves once we add the last one the leaves should appear so as you can see they appear now we'll go back now you can see that the tree leaves do appear on our trees but like i said the only problem with it is that it does not get affected by the wind so there was a there was someone that left me a comment and they wanted to see how we could make this be affected by the wind 
like I said, I was not able to do it with the wind zone. The only other solution I was able to find out is if we actually animate the tree ourselves in Blender. So if we go to animations and if we go to, let's say the tree, we're gonna rotate this tree. Well, actually first we're gonna insert a keyframe. So yeah, make sure you hit the little record button. We're gonna, so we tilted it a little bit and you've seen that it got recorded. And when we rotate, the best way to do this is to either uh, click X, Y, and Z. So it will rotate evenly. So we'll rotate it like that. On the first mark, we'll rotate it back. So it's going to look kind of like this. And then on the 40, we will do the same thing, but rotate it back this way. And then we'll just copy this. So Control C. And then on the 60, Control V. So now it's going to do this little rocking motion. And then once the pretty much the tree is animated, we're just going to export it the same way. Click FBX. Right here on FBX, we're going to locate our actual project. So let me find it real quick. And then under assets, we will post our tree. We'll name it untitled.fbx just for now. And then you could also put selected objects, visible objects, whatever you feel like doing. So if you had multiple things in this blender and you just wanted to do selected objects, you do that. If you wanted to hide everything and just have visible objects, you could do that. You could also do the object types. So I'll just put like empty. I'll get rid of the camera, the lamp, keep armature, mesh, and other. And then after that, what you would have to do is click apply transform and also make sure bake animation is selected. So I'm going to export the FBX and you can see it got exported here. If I bring it in, we can see it here. Now for the animation to work, uh, let me actually remove this these trees and let me add the material just so we could have the material on here. And now for this to work, we would have to add an animation or animator. And for the control, we would have to create a controller right click go to create animated controller we could put a tree animator controller and then we will have to go to our animator and click on the tree animator controller you could also go to windows animation animator and then we would have to click this little arrow right here on our tree and just drag this in so as you can see we got that tree tree action now if we double click this we'll get sent to this window right here in the inspector just click on loop time and after that, just hit play. We actually have to drag in the animator controller to the controller right here in our animator. We hit play, we see it disappears. Now hit root, apply root motion, and then hit play again. And now you can see that our tree is getting animated. Now it did just do it once, so let's double check what's going on. I think I didn't hit apply. So yeah, loop time and then make sure you hit apply. And then now when we hit play, it should work and it should loop. So this is the only way I could really figure out how we could add wind to a tree created outside of Blender. And with this animator, we could always, let's say you have a game that is gonna be windy at some times and sometimes it, will, it won't be windy. We could always turn off the animator and it'll stop being windy, click on it and you could get the wind again and so on and so forth. So Hopefully that answered the comment that they left me. I know this is probably not ideal, probably not what exactly what the comment, the person that commented wanted. I know they probably wanted the wind zone to work with it, but like I said, it will not be able to work unless you have like just a tree that does not have that LOD group. And you could also use it with the terrain painter. But like I said, as long as it does not have the little LOD group, like right now it has the LOD group. If we do it, it's not gonna work. But if we open up this prefab, remove this LOD group and then go back and you can see the leaves disappeared. And if we hit play, we could actually see it does work. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps this channel out. It helps me out, keeps me motivated. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you could keep seeing more videos like this. And also hit that bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as I post videos. Once again, thank you guys.